Sunday morning, more than 300 wrestlers were in the Williamstown High School gym for the NJSIAA South Region Girls Tournament. 300 to compete for 10 titles and 30 coveted slots at the state championships in Atlantic City in two weeks. Three of those slots went to wrestlers from Delran High School. At 180 pounds, the Bears' Haley Adorno advanced with a third place showing. She had to defeat a teammate, Allison Duff, in their consolation final. Adorno will head for Atlantic City in the company of the only two region champions from Burlington County. Dalrin sophomore Callie Roscoe earned that distinction at 121 pounds. Emma Matero followed up by taking the bracket sheet at 135. Both wrestlers turned in dominating performances. Roscoe scored two pins in a 7-0 decision over Angelina Romero of Notre Dame in the semifinals. Matera quickly pinned everyone that was put in front of her until the final round. But with championships on the line, both had to survive some last-minute drama. Roscoe's took a 6-2 lead with a near fall against Lakewood's Jessica Rivera in her final, but Rivera got a reversal later on and was in position to tie the score with a final takedown. I, can, I just have to like focus and have like the mindset that you're going to win and see what happens go from there. Honestly, just timing and waiting for her, seeing what she was going to do and just reacting on it. And it was really close, and I just think like staying calm and not really rushing anything or forcing anything really else. Roscoe's and the North Jersey champion will receive first round buys in the state tournament, as will Matera, who battled through her own tense final with Gabby Miller, a top seed and defending state champion at 135. Matera said she felt like she might have been in those positions. Last year, I fell a little bit short, made a few mistakes, and I spent the rest of the off season just running that through my head and I worked my butt off in the room and I just feel like this is my reward. That bout started to take shape after a scoreless first period. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get shots there but I love my bottom, I love my top positions. I just, I'm better on the mat. <laughs> The results bore that out. Matera held Miller down for the entire second period. Miller opted for a neutral start after she couldn't score from top in the third. She pressed for a go-ahead takedown as the clock ran down, but it was Matera who scored. It was Matera who won both the bracket and the most outstanding wrestler honors. I told my, the rest of my team when we were warming up today, as long as you stay in there, you're going to get rewarded. If you just keep going, you keep fighting. Uh, you'll be rewarded for it. Kayla Mungo, the reigning state champ at 215 pounds, will have a chance to repeat, but she'll have to win three times to do it. She finished second after dropping a 5-2 decision to lower Cape May's Joelle Klein. On my refreshment, Danica Haynes also advanced. She won three straight bouts in the consolation bracket to earn a third place finish at 114 pounds. She'll make her first trip to Boardwalk Hall in two weeks as one of a six-member Burlington County delegation. From Williamstown High School, this is John Lewis.